Commit to changing. Commit to trying something different. Stepping outside of your box. Changing your energy. Accepting that today is going to be an amazing, it's already an amazing day. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly and this is going to be a get ready for bed with me video. It's later in the same day of the last videos I've been posting. I still have on my pajamas. Who's mad? Accept me, love me. Sometimes we just have to be in the moment. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to, because I've been getting asked about when am I going to do some more hair videos. Um, I've had my hair up in a ponytail and bun for probably like a month now. I'm going to say for sure about a month. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead on and comb my hair out with you guys. And, um, you know how I showed you guys, um, a couple videos ago, the, um, ultimate Kiehl's kit. So last night I went on and did the, um, eye creamy eye treatment, which felt great. And then I put on the midnight recovery treatment, which felt great. So I was sold immediately on this entire um, product line. And then, um, I did the power line reducing treatment this morning. And then I used the Ultimate Cream Moisturizer. And um, I really like that as well. So, now what I'm going to do is use the cleanser with you guys. Um, and then I'm going to put the creamy eye treatment on and the midnight recovery treatment. I'm going to put, so I'm going to use those three products with you all here shortly. Um, so don't be mad at this bun. But that's what's going on. I left my earbuds in because I wanted to know. Um, I wanted the video to be like quiet with no voiceover in the background. And then if I want to know where I am in the camera, I could just touch the screen. And I don't have to have all the background. Because when I watch my videos, I know you guys understand. But sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I didn't have all that. So... That's why I still have my earbuds in. But before we get into me doing this and me combing out my hair, which I am going to be doing another hair video pretty soon. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go swimming this weekend. So that's um, the big deal is if I'm really going to get in some water and swim. I really don't like swimming because of the... Um, chemicals they use in the water so and then I try to go swimming before everybody else gets in there um so like right when they finish cleaning the pool I'll try to go then so it's a high probability I'm not getting in the water like submerging myself I'm pretty sure it's not happening um and so then I'll just go on and wash my hair with you guys and show you what new products I'm using and then um, straighten my hair if I'm going to do it myself or if I'm going to go back to the salon um, then I'll just vlog um, that experience so we'll see but you will have a hair vlog coming up shortly tonight I'm just going to comb my hair out so you guys can see where I'm at because I have lots of new growth and um i get questions about that like can you guys can i do a, um a hair length check with you all so that's what's going on okay um also i'm going to tell you guys really quickly these pajamas um these are a nice pajama but they're not a quality pajama and i always want to tell you guys when you shop for bargains that's exactly what it is it's a bargain so it's not something that you're looking to keep long term like that's not what it's about. I've worn these pajamas maybe like eight or nine times. I just wash them like every day, every other day. Whenever I wear them, I wash them, put them back on. 
they already have a hole in in them <laughs> yeah i didn't expect me to say that yeah they already have a hole like along the um seam so i mean for guys like they're 14.99 they come out of tj maxx so you know it is what it is but i just wanted to let you guys know about that so um when it comes to quality and things i'm expecting to keep then i usually go into the department store and then spend a little bit more money um you know for a better quality item so i don't have to just keep coming back in there and buying okay guys so another thing i'm trying to make this video super quick too because um I have a low battery so what I'm about to do because this was the real purpose of the video I'm supposed to be doing a what's in my bag because I got a new purse so I was going to show you guys my purse and I didn't want to um, do it before I actually use the bag because you know how you buy something you don't know if you're going to keep it um, but yep it's it's official I'm keeping the handbag and I've been using it and so i'm just going to show it to you guys how it is right now it's overstuffed and let me just show y'all matter of fact let's take this earpiece out because it's not going to be functional anymore for what we're trying to do okay guys so and let me make sure <laughs> let me make sure that we're still recording speech on one thing Stop record face near left edge. Speech off. Okay, guys. So here we go. This is the handbag. It is um it is definitely it can be an over-the-shoulder or crossbody handbag. It does have an adjustable strap, and the drop on this strap is about 25 or 26 inches. So it's definitely gonna hit at the hip. There's these two um short handles where you can carry it like a briefcase style or you can carry it in the crook of your arm or you can hand carry um so that makes it nice and then it is kind of like a beigey tan gray color um so you could do a lot with this handbag it is by nine west and um it has this little um purse charm that i really really like it has silver hardware and it's a little silver bow um right there on the center of the purse charm so i think that was super cute now the thing that i love about this handbag okay the price um i got this out of macy's backstage here in lennox square mall it was 29.99 and the original price for this handbag was like $79, I want to say. So Nine West is a reasonable, um, consistent brand. They come out with pretty good products I've purchased from them several times over the years. And I haven't had an issue. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's in here first. And then once I empty everything out, I can show you what it looks like on the inside. So the first thing that I have in here is my mac cosmetic case and if you guys watched my christmas videos then you saw these 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 are one of those gift sets that you get um with your purchase when you buy like lip glass you know like lip products or yeah these were exclusive to the lip products so you got like a lip liner you got a lip gloss a lipstick and all of that and i have specific videos for that so definitely check that out and so that's what i have in here um I have like AirPods and um, clear nail polish and toe dividers and just all kinds of stuff, guys. If you guys want me to do a video on what's in my cosmetic cases, I will do that, okay? I have a second one in here because sometimes I keep cash in here. Sometimes I keep card holders in here. Um, I do have one of my favorite I do have some um, lipsticks. I have a Gucci lipstick. Um, I have just some lip liners, MAC lip liners. I have all kinds of stuff that's in these cosmetic cases, guys. I'm not even about to waste any time um, because it's a lot going on. That'll be like a another 40 minute video. Okay, I meant to put some of that on before I even started, but anyway, I really love the lip gloss. If I had to pick one product 
if I can only use one product for the rest of my life for my lips, I would just pick up one, um, one bottle of the lip glass. Okay, so I have two of those. Okay, another thing that I have, as a matter of fact, I have a mini Longchamp pouch. Um, and it's in this deep purple color. And if you guys watch my travel vlog, then you will have seen a deep purple Longchamp carry-on tote that matches this exactly. And I actually got both of them out of the Off-Fifth Saks clearance store here around the corner in Buckhead. And this clearance down to $18 the other day. I was super excited um, when I came across this. And... Um, because I had been saying I needed like a small pouch to like put my earbuds in. Like I'm about to wrap these up real quick because I lose these around the house all the time. They'll end up everywhere like in my um, robe pocket, under the bed. I mean anywhere. It'll be I'll be on the hunt for them. So I just put them in my little pouch. I also have um an outlet in here so if i get somewhere and i need to actually plug in the wall to charge um because a lot sometimes people will have your apple cord but they won't have an outlet and then y'all are somewhere where you, you wish you had an outlet so i have an outlet in here which i'm gonna have to upgrade my outlet because um the majority of my cords now are the USB-C. so that's the other issue. I have my gate key fob for where I live in here. And so this is just like a keep all bag for me. Um, initially, I thought I was going to put like change and dollars in here, but it's worked out a lot better. So anyway, this is it. This is the Longchamp mini um, pouch. And it's, it's regularly, believe it or not, this pouch is regularly like $80 but it clearance down to 18 bucks so um that's pretty exciting it was like 75 percent off okay so then i have this nourishing dry body oil by um kills that i showed you guys the other day i got with my 25 dollar gift card it was 18 bucks um from bloomingdale's i have my apple cider vinegar pills yes guys i have my cayenne pills in here Yes, guys, I have my, oh, these might be apple cider vinegar, and the other ones might have been my garlic soft gels. I have my Dove um, spray-on deodorant, mini travel size. Yeah, here's my soft gels, guys. Here's my Cayenne soft gels by Nature's Bounty. Um, I have Tiger Balm in here. I know y'all are like, wow, what the heck? Yes, guys. I have um, hand gel, hand sanitizing gel by Bath and Body Works. And I don't know. I, I had picked up this berry basil blend. It smelled great, by the way. If y'all are looking for some new um, fragrance. I have sanitizing napkins. I'm not going to show those to y'all. Um, sanitary napkins. I have my peppermint orbits gum in here. I buy that by the pack. So like a three pack of that. Um, I have my champagne apple and honey hand sanitizing spray that I got from Bath and Body. I'm in here. Okay. Then I have um my michael kors i showed you guys this in my um handbag small leather goods collection this is by michael kors and it has that pouch it has a lot of change in there and it's a mini wallet remember i showed y'all it's a fold out and you can put bills in here and there's car holding slots inside the area with the bill compartment so anyway i have that one and then i have michael kors um card holder and i have it in every color i have the brown signature the black signature and the vanilla signature then i have my six key ring holder um by louis vuitton in the black epi leather and you can just open it and all my keys are in there and then it has this the pocket 
I've showed you guys that in my small leather goods collection video as well. And then I just have some keys. I have Ricola. That's the um <laughs> that's the honey lemon echinacea blend, which is my favorite one. Um, okay, so then I have like I was telling you guys, I have my um USB-C chargers for the phone in case I get stuck somewhere I can charge up um, and then I have tons of these rubbing alcohol pads my mom sent me a whole suitcase of them at the beginning of the you know pandemic I don't know if we can even say that word anyway here's this berry basil hand sanitizing gel that I've ran out of it's still some in there that's why I haven't given it up yet and right now you guys could get hand sanitizing gels from Bath and Body um for 49 cents. Otherwise they're five for eight dollars normally. So here's some my hair scrunchies and it has like a couple bobby pins on there. And then I do still keep a mask with me, even though we're not wearing masks here in Georgia. But like if you have to go to the hospital, you still have to wear them. If I was going to like a doctor's office, I would still put one on, you know, certain areas and scenarios, I will still wear them. Okay, then I have a, quite a few Ricola in my bag. I know y'all are like, she is still digging. Yes. Okay, so that side is finished. Okay, so now let me go to this other side where the zip pocket is and I have keys. I have key fobs. And then, what else do I have? I have a key fob. Okay, and then I have more lip products, which is kind of baffling to me because I thought only had one lip gloss, and now I'm finding out I have multiple lip gloss actually. So, this is my Benadryl stick. If you guys don't know, I have severe allergies, so um, this is, and then if I get like bug bites, like from mosquitoes and stuff like that, I will put this on there. It helps stop the itching and the hiving, so this is the Benadryl stick. Love, love, love. This, believe it or not, people with glaucoma are instructed not to use Visine. But I have such dry eyes and um, allergies and sinus problems that this Visine actually soothes better than my medication. So I use this Visine and it's so helpful immediately. I actually really love it. Um, and then this is one of these bottles of lotion you get from your hotel. And then um, that I keep in my purse because lotions like that I don't mind when I wash, putting it on, can just keep washing all day and rinsing it off. Okay, this is another lip product. And I wonder if that's my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Actually, I don't know. I have to find that one too. Okay guys, so then I have this um tropical. I was watching another YouTuber's video and she was talking about this tropical um, lip balm. And so I picked it up. I don't love it. Like I'm not in love with it. I don't know if I will ever buy this again. But it's not bad. For the price of it. It's like seven bucks or something like that. Um, I got You get it out of Sephora. Here's some tissues. Kleenex for your purse. More cords. More Apple charger cords. And um, yeah. So... I did try it. I like the way it smells. It kind of, it does kind of have that tropical, like coconut pineapple, pineapple smell to it. That lip balm, but I'm not in love. Not like the bath. How I love the Bath and Body um, lip moisturizer they have. Matter of fact, next time I go over there, I'm gonna see if they have any of them on sale because they're always sold out. Okay, and then I have one more Michael Kors card holder this is the one the other one had the plate on the front which is my favorite design and this one has the letters the name spelled out across the bottom okay so bow that's the whole bag 
guys it's empty now this is how it looks this is the entire handbag it does have a zip top closure let me zip it for you all so you can see it does zip and then you just push it back down push the little tab back down in there so then you see here it does zip at the top okay then it does have an interior zip pocket i don't know if you guys can really see in there but it does have an interior zip pocket here and it's very deep um another thing each side has a pocket compartment i slide my cell phones in there normally and it's another side pocket over here so and then let me flip it back over I don't know if you guys could see but over here there's a slip pocket here so you could put whatever you want um it's like an extra pouch but it's just open so it just falls like that and then you know and then it's just an, a large open space so I fell in love with this bag because it was like so much I could do I could put so much in here and I really loved how organized I was so yes guys that's what's going on this is what's in my bag um i feel like i really got a great deal because i needed something simple and i needed something that i could wear around town and not feel like worried about it like oh gosh i don't want this to happen i don't want that to i don't want it to have all those different thoughts trying to keep up with it trying you know what I mean? To not, um, you know, bump into anything or overstuff it. You know, it seems like to me, like the more money you spend on your bag, it's like the less likely you're going to wear it. Or you're so worried about it the whole time, you really can't enjoy it. Like, I think that's why I was always a big Dooney and Burke and Coach um, purse wear up. Uh, purse purchaser because i could actually enjoy the handbag and I, it was worry free for me um because i didn't you know i spend the money but i didn't spend a lot like you could always get dooney on sale you could always get coach on sale you didn't have to you know i really didn't have to think about that after i spent the money it was like okay i got me a cute handbag i'm out you know but whereas you start spending thousands for a purse, you be like, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You're not just about to, you're going to need a purse holder. So when you go somewhere or you're going to make sure you have an extra seat so you can put your purse in the seat next to you. And then you want to put position it in the most perfect way because you don't got time for something extra to happen or something to get spilt on it you know what i mean it's like so many thoughts and emotions you go through the more money or at least i can only speak for myself or at least me i go through a lot trying to use a purse that i spent a lot of money on and that's one reason why i don't buy large designer handbags for myself i don't spend a lot of money i just don't because like I said, you guys, it ends up being in my closet for a long time. Okay, guys, so in the interest of time, I'm not going to refill this bag all the way up. And I'm going to go on and start um, combing my hair out. So before I do that, let me hurry up. Before I start combing my hair out, let me take out this cleanser. Let me take this cleanser out of here. Now, I do have a video where I do my skincare routine with you all. So if you want to check that out to get an idea of how I act um, or how I do my skincare normally, definitely check that out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. We're on our way to 200 subscribers. And I'm really happy about that. So... What I like to do typically, I like to, um, some people like to like wet their face and then um, 
and then apply cleanser. I like to put the cleanser on on my face dry and then kind of like do a light massage as I'm taking it off, okay? Plus, I'm about to take my bath after this. So honestly, I'm going to use this cleanser like a mask with you guys real quick. And then um, we'll comb my hair out. And then after that, I'm going to style my hair for bed. And then I'm going to take my bath, okay? So anyways, I'm going to take these glasses off. Now, guys, I told you guys in the last video that I had, um, I had been battling a zit. And I have one that's trying to come back up. It went down last night. But for some reason, it's still out and about and um basically uh oh this is really thick guys this is a thick cleanser oh okay anyway it went back down and then over the course of today now i did bake i did um bake some red snapper i ate an avocado today i ate a few cherry tomatoes today I, um, what else did I do? Mm, I had some oatmeal earlier today. I had, um, baked some potatoes. I ate some asparagus. I did eat some French vanilla Briars ice cream. And I did have a little chocolate syrup with it. So, and then I'm drinking some like half and half apple juice and water. So I do feel like next time I put this up, like to, tomorrow or whatever, when I use this, I probably will um, like run a warm towel over my face first because this is kind of, it's not gliding. It's not like a gel cleanser where it'll just glide across your face. This one is like moving like toothpaste. It's like, it's pasty. Um, but anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to tell y'all about my alley up here. So basically I sat up there and, um, and put an alcohol pad on my zit, which is above my left, um, eyebrow here. And it was just like fighting me like it was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then finally it start kind of going down but I could tell it was like one of those situations where it's like ooh, this alcohol really has turned this into like a blister now so okay guys I put the um face cream on now I would if this was a more of a glide, I would have put this all the way down my neck. But it's so thick and pasty that I do want to put some right here by my ears though. Do you guys, um, when you wash your face, do you guys remember to go like all the way down? Like all the way down under your chin? Or do you guys kind of just use the warm towel for that? Or a cool towel, actually. If you want to keep your skin nice and tight, you got to use a cool towel. But anyway, guys, when I take my bath, I will be... I hope it doesn't look weird. I hope this doesn't look weird, um, guys. But anyways, when I take my bath, I will be massaging this with the warm towel everywhere and working around my hairline and all around behind my ears. And I like to put, I don't like to put the direct cleanser on my ears. I like to um, mix it with my towel and then massage in my ears. And um, just come going all around my neck and, and hairline. So that's what's gonna happen in the bath. So now guys, let's go on and take my hair down and see where we're at because this has been requested and asked y'all are so cute like a lot of my subscribers y'all do not publicly comment <laughs> like you guys are like on that thou shall not publicly 
let anybody know what y'all think or feel. Y'all are not open to that situation. And a lot of you guys said the same exact thing. Like, no, I don't want to do all that. No, I don't want to. Um, I'm using this sanitizer real quick. And you guys, I have a towel down here on the um, chair. Anyway, I'm using that sanitizer real quick to lift that cleanser before I start combing my hair because then I have to get up, go wash my hands, all that stuff like that. So I'll just use the cleanser. But anyway, a lot of you guys watch my videos, you won't comment on the video, but you'll call or text <laughs> or email me or DM me. <laughs> it's really cute. Whatever, you know, whatever you want. But, um, okay guys, so I literally have been rocking this up ponytail for a long time and you guys know if you've been watching me since last year now consistently you guys know once you see me start putting putting my hair up in that ponytail it'll just start going from one side of my head to the other side of my head till it ends up being at the top of my head particularly on this right side it ends up rocking out at the top of my head and it's because I always because I always want to um de-stress my hairline so wherever whichever way you're constantly um pulling your hair then that's the side of your head or your hairline that has the most stress so what you want to do is consistently move your hairstyle around so um and that's where thinning of the hair comes from too is if you're always like you always pull it back or you always pull it to this particular side or you always pull it to like whatever then um you'll have thin thinning hair in certain parts of your head you can also have, you know, issues with balding if you just always, you know. Like me, I get comfortable with just pulling my hair back. And But I'll use a light, like a scrunchie, so that it's not like my hair's, but it's still going in that direction. So then what I'll start doing is start pulling it up to the middle of my head. And then I'll wear it like that for a while. And then it just seems like it just gradually starts going up higher and higher. Oh, another reason why is because because my ponytail is so long, depending on what I'm doing, I don't want to have the issue where it's getting caught in things. I've bent down before and my ponytail has almost gone in the toilet. Like, what a nightmare. Or like you're out washing your hands and your hair sliding in the sink and stuff. Like, all that type of stuff. So what will end up happening is I'll just start pulling my hair up higher and higher and higher until the point I feel like really comfortable. And then that's when y'all will see me for like a whole month. Keep wearing this ponytail. Keep wearing this ponytail up, up, up. Um, I like the idea of wearing my hair down, but it gets slammed in doors it gets caught in seat belts like it becomes such a hassle people will um grab my arm and grab my hair snatch my hair like it so much happens when my hair is down it's so painful and uncomfortable um i just feel like never mind let me put it up and then i hate for my hair to get snagged and um it just gives me a bad attitude so rather than go through that i will just put my hair up like if i can find my daughter's friend from high school because she braids hair if she's home for the summer then you guys are gonna see me wearing corn rolls for the month of july um and maybe some beads but for the most part it's probably gonna be 
a nice neat cornrow style and then I don't have to worry with anything because it's just it'll be nice and protected and secure yeah so these are the issues women with long hair have and that's why a lot of time women with long hair don't like to be touched and don't want to be bothered with because all these types of things happen to us and you won't understand it unless you have long hair and because you'll be constantly like ouch you know telling people like you know you're snatching my hair or like you know you guys see how much hair this is shedding too by the way remember i don't comb my hair out every day so this is like an accumulation of shedding because I don't comb it out every day. I don't guys. Now when I wear it down, of course, I'll brush it and all that. Like, look at this, it's crazy. But once I start wearing that ponytail look every day, y'all, I am not combing it out every day. Mm-mm. I probably really need to work on it but I want I wanted to comb my hair out so y'all could see oh it hurts guys when you haven't done it in a <laughs> okay okay so now who watched the BET Awards you guys who watched Versus with Ray J, Bobby V, Pleasure P, Sammy, and then the Omarion versus um, Mario? Who watched that? It was like four hours. And then who watched um, BET Awards? I didn't watch the BET Awards as far as the program. Ever since YouTube has done such a good job at playing the parts that I want to see, which are the performances, I don't sit through it anymore. I haven't, I can't, the last time I remember sitting through the BET Awards and watching it was 2011. That was like the last time I can remember truly sitting and watching it from front to back. Like from start to finish to the end. Mm -mm. But um, I watched Muni, I think her name is, performance. I thought that was great. Um, LMA and Babyface, I thought that was sweet and wonderful. Um, and shout out to Babyface, y'all. Y'all know he's my celebrity crush. But I, th I think that he's single. I don't know. But um, he sounds great, guys. I love when an artist just sounds timeless. Like, sounds great. So anyway, um, I loved Brandy coming out and rapping and performing with um, Jack Harlow. I think that's his name loved it i was like okay it was a surprise um y'all y'all see all this i'm going through another thing that's gotten me spoiled is the fact that um all the hair oils now have pointer tops. So you don't have to like comb through and oil your scalp like you had to when I was a little girl. You can just, you know, point the top into all the different areas of your hair and you're finished oiling your scalp in like seconds. Like it takes me, I remember sitting, sitting on the floor in front of my mom and her oiling my hair and it would take a good half hour to an hour because which is good because you know you're stimulating your scalp and massaging your scalp and brushing your hair and, and all of that 
But now, I can just whiz through the whole process <laughs> in like two minutes, one minute really, 30 seconds, I'm finished. So, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, guys. <sighs> Lordy. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys. So, for the most part, I'm finished combing my hair out. For the most part, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You guys, when you comb through these tangles, oh my gosh, that make your whole face hurt. It'll make your nose tingle. Okay, so for the most part, I'm done. I wish I had a real brush though. Like I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go like to the dollar store in the West End to get me a brush. That's for real. Cause these little brushes I have. They just play games. To me, they're like edge brushes. Like, definitely, you know, you can smooth your edges out. But when it comes time to really get in those roots, not so much. It's not happening. Okay, guys. So, this is where we're at. I do have a significant amount of um, new growth. I have a lot. If I have to guess how much new growth I have, probably like three inches. Um, my hair grows really fast. So, and so do my fingernails. Like these are my fingernails here. And I just had to get them cut down because they were really long. Um, okay, let me see guys. Yeah, I'm trying to hurry up. I pray to God this camera has not ended on us. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this done. So, I'm just clearing up all my lovely hair shedding. And it's a lot. Sometimes I think like, ooh, maybe I should donate the hair. But, culturally, I don't know. I don't really... Okay, let me see. Lord, it hurts, guys. Okay, now we're done. Okay, I'm finished for this for, for now. So let me part my hair. Let me part my hair for you guys. Like, do a hand part. Let me part my hair a little bit for y'all. Instead of swooping it around. Let me part it a little bit over here. And then it's already, it's already pretty well and down. Okay, so right now with me combing my hair down and, and with me still having considerable amount of new growth that I didn't quite brush out yet, um, my hair is all the way, all the way down to my navel. My hair is all the way down to my navel. Okay guys? So, 
let's try to stick it yeah so let me see yeah so yep my hair is all the way down it's it's almost reaching the top of my pajama shorts so like if you could see where your top of your pants are that's where my hair is so and that's without like I said, all my new growth really being combed out and brushed out. So I probably might have a couple more inches, which would take me past the top of my bottom, of my shorts bottom. So I feel like if I kept up with my hair more, then, cause I've been at this length for a while now, which I'm not complaining. I This is a, a comfortable, like this is a good length for me. Now let me push my hair back behind me. I'm going to push my hair back behind me so we can see what we have going on. I don't know why this stuff is so wiry right now. But anyway, let me push my hair behind me. And... Okay, now... I just, you guys, it is no joke trying to brush your hair when your hair is almost as long as your arm is. And then you're trying to like brush it and comb it all the way down. Okay, now, for my hair now. Okay. Hold on. gonna brush comb it back okay guys Woo! okay guys now okay now for it to be all the way back here now I'm gonna turn around maybe I should try to back y'all up a little bit but really I'm just gonna turn around and kind of squat a little bit because let me see how close y'all are yeah, because basically y'all could just see what my hair looks like down my back, okay? Okay guys, so I'm going to squat down a little bit and then you could see that my hair is like all the way down there. Dang guys, this is turning out to be an interesting video honestly because no. We're not going to be able to do this. Not like this. Nope, guys. We're not going to be able to do this like this. Let me scooch, scooch all back a little bit. Let me see. Speech on. Low battery. 10% close button. Close button. Camera. Stop re- Fake. Hold on, guys. Fa face, face near top left edge. Near left edge. One face centered. Okay, so. Near top edge. Face near top edge. Okay, guys. So now. Near top left edge. Face near top left edge. getting there let me see if I just kind of like scoop it together just to kind of pinpoint it the longest strand one face near bottom edge stop recording video button see this is why voiceover near top right edge near left edge face near left edge centered Speech off. Anyway, guys, this is why I keep voiceover off because it gets out of control. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for getting ready for bed with me. And um, I'm going to go on and take my bath. 
and I'll let you guys know to, um, on the next video what I'm thinking about the Kills Ultimate Kit. So far, I like it and I'm going to repurchase. And I pretty much like all the products, okay? All right, guys, hugs and kisses. Thank you for spending this time with me. I'll see you in the next video. Speech on. Stop recording.